Yo, what's going on guys? You already know, it's the Pro Bartlett back again with another YouTube video here today. Um, I just wanted to kind of do a game review, kind of talk about this game a little bit. It's called Spellweaver. Uh, I am not paid by anybody to promote this game. I am simply promoting it for the sake of the fact that I really would like this game to take off. Even though I don't think it will, simply because of Hearthstone being a game. Um, anyway, what is this game? This game is called Spellweaver. Uh, it's a free game on Steam. It just uh, released the full game, I think, the beginning of January? Or it might have been the 1st of February. I don't really know. Um, I just know this game went uh, full launch, I guess is what you can call it. But it's a digital card game, which is something I'm very, very, very heavily involved in. Um, I have lots of card game experience. Uh, back in the day, I used to play competitive Yu-Gi-Oh! for seven years. I actually stopped in the beginning of 2014. So I played Yu-Gi-Oh! I have dabbled in Magic the Gathering. I've dabbled in the Pokemon TCG. Uh, I've played Hearthstone. I still play Hearthstone. Um, so here's Spellweaver, and this is a game that I just kind of wanted to showcase, and, you know, maybe this is a game that you could enjoy. Um, but basically, if you've ever played Hearthstone or Magic the Gathering, the game is very, very, very similar. I'm just going to go ahead and show you uh, the deck and show you some cards. I'm not going to play a game, just because I'm still really learning this game. There's a lot of mechanics in this game that make this uh, particular game a lot more challenging. A lot more, you know, yeah, I think a lot more. So, um, so let's just get started. So basically, each deck there are I think five decks that you can play um, right now, like the starter decks, if you will. Um, you have like water, which is wisdom. Uh, you have fire, which is I don't even know. You have knights, which are like light, a light type. Um, you have vampires and you have like the undead. They're both uh, dark. Anywho, but basically each deck has a hero power, just like uh, Hearthstone. Basically, you can activate your hero power if you have three mana. That is what the um, Pentagon. Is that even a Pentagon? Is that a hexagon? I'm, I'm, I don't know my shapes. But anyway, the purple with the three, that is what uh, mana is required in order to activate uh, his ability. The little hourglass is how many times you can use it. So you can only use this, uh, I think it's every two turns you can use this effect. Like I said, I've only played a handful of Spellweaver, so I'm not 100% sure, but I believe that's the case. At least that's how I thought it was when I was playing. Anyway, uh, this little icon is a wisdom icon. Basically, each hero has, like, you know, either they have wisdom or they have, like, holy whatever. I don't... I've only played with the water deck, or the wisdom deck. Anyway, this is the level. Now, in Spellweaver, not only do you have to worry about your mana, but you also have to worry about levels. What do you mean levels? Well, just like in... Uh, Hearthstone, not just like in Hearthstone, just like in Magic the Gathering, you have, let me see, you have cards that produce mana. So this is, actually this is a terrible, uh, there we go. You have cards that produce mana. Uh, just like Magic the Gathering, you have, you have planes, you have um, islands, you have swamps. Basically the same principle. Except these cards produce either a level or a mana. Just like mana, you also need levels to play certain cards. And your mana cards can produce levels. Um, if you, The cool thing, which I really like about this game, that no other card games do, is um, if you decide to use your, your Wisdom Shrine as mana, once you play it as mana, it replaces the card. So like, you play it as mana, you get to draw a card. Which I think is really cool, but if you do play it, um, if you do decide to play this as a level, then it just stays as a level. So let's go ahead and look at a creature. Let's. Uh, this is a simple creature we can look at. Golem. 
you'll notice it takes one um, takes one mana to play it, but that right here indicates it needs you need two levels. You need one wisdom level, and the clear one means any level of your choice. So you could have like green, a green level, a red level, whatever the case may be. <clears throat> now, obviously, this is what kind of creature it is. It's an artifact creature. Um, just like in Magic, you have cards that will say destroy artifacts. You'll have cards that say search artifacts, etc., etc. This heart symbol is how much health the creature has, and right above it is how much damage it can deal. So, just like in every other card game, nothing too special. However, <coughs> excuse me. However, um, these little niches, I don't know what you want to call them, arcs, represent the card's speed, which is a completely different mechanic than any other card game that I've ever played. Basically, your speed indicates what you can attack, what you cannot attack, what you can block, and what you cannot block. Basically, if a creature has a higher speed than your creature, you cannot attack it, and you cannot block. Um, you cannot uh, block with that creature if the other creature was to attack. So let's say your opponent has a creature with three speed, and they decide to attack me, I cannot block with the golem, um, nor can I attack their creature. And I believe, I believe also too, how the game mechanics work, if um, your opponent were to have a card that, let's, let's say it has three speed, and it's able to block, I physically cannot <clears throat> even attack my opponent directly, because of the fact that he has a card that can potentially block, and I cannot attack him because of his speed being higher. Hopefully that makes sense. Obviously when you play the game, um, you'll go through a tutorial that teaches you everything you need to know. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, you've got spells. Um, let me try to see. I'm not sure. Oh. Simple spell. Draw two cards. Takes two mana. Your level has to be two. Um... And you've got stuff just like Magic the Gathering where you have flying, you know, it can attack and block from the support line. The support line is basically kind of like your back row, which is, like, I guess the only card game that uses a back row is Yu-Gi-Oh. Well, I think Force of Will does too. But in Yu-Gi-Oh, you know, your back lines for your set spells, set traps, or your continuous spells. Well, your support line is cards that will give you... They're not necessarily, I mean, they're creatures, but they're not necessarily used for attacking. A perfect example of that is Foundry Engineers. You can put this in your support, but you don't have to. However, if this is in your support line, at the start of your turn, you'll get a plus one uh, to your energy. And then when it has two, you can summon a golem creature to the field. So, with that being said... Um, Let's talk about energy. Energy, there's a lot of cards that have that can produce energy. When they have a certain amount of energy on them, they can activate their power. So another example of that is uh, this card right here, which is, I can't remember the name of the card, but this is basically like Divine Shield and Hearthstone. There's a lot of cards that produce Divine Shield. This creature, when you put it, um, you can put a shield emblem on when he comes into play, basically. Because when he comes into play, he automatically has two energy. So you can spend two energy, put a shield on your allied creature, or himself if you want to. There are also cards, which I haven't found to be very useful yet. Um, but let me see if I can find it. There are cards that let you produce... Well, this card for example. It's a support creature. You can pay up to four mana, and allied cards gain that much energy. So you can tap four to produce more energy put him on you know you could put him on your force mage protector and he gets another two energy and then he can activate his shield again so that's basically about it um, I really like this card game because unlike Hearthstone which Hearthstone I enjoy Hearthstone but the problem with Hearthstone is there's not a lot of complexity to it you, there's not a lot of combos, a lot of, you know, with Yu-Gi-Oh, you have fast-paced combo, fast combos. 
in the Pokemon TCG you have fast paced combos where you're constantly drawing cards, searching your deck, and playing a huge board. Match of the Gathering has a lot of similarity where you can, you know, search your deck, you know, special summon a bunch of creatures. <coughs> but Hearthstone, Hearthstone is just you using the best cards and having them on each curb. Whereas um, other games have always focused on, you know, just dropping a lot of monsters and trying to kill the opponent. So Hearthstone, or excuse me, <coughs> Spell, Spell Weaver plays almost identically to Magic the Gathering. But there's a lot of, um, a lot of things different, like I said, the energies, um, having support creatures, um, you know, having the levels, um, like this creature, for example, takes three levels, you know, um, but yeah, that's basically about it, I'll take you back to, like, the main screen, you have, um, you have trials, whoa, is this the trials? Yeah, yeah, okay. Now you have trials, which are basically like arena and Hearthstone. <coughs> These are the rewards you get for completing the trials. You can't play them until you reach level 8 or unless you buy a ticket. Um, which obviously, there's a marketplace, you can buy tickets. Tickets are like 17,000 gold. Um, you have your deck edits, your collection. Quick battle, you can play a friendly game or rank or against the AIs. Um, and then over here you have quests for each of um, the decks that you can uh, play, the starter decks. So you've got like this quest, uh, play three quick battles and you get 1500 gold, which I think I did that. So, er, no, I just accepted the quest. Oh. Like I, f I, f I don't fucking know. Um, let me see if I can show you guys the decks right quick. I think they're in the marketplace. This is another really cool thing I like about this game is you can buy like card packs, um, card backs, excuse me. You can buy boxes, which is something that like I used to do in Yu-Gi-Oh. I used to spend 80 bucks and get like a box of 24 uh, packs. So you can like actually buy boxes. However, I don't like the fact that you have to use real money to buy boxes. Um, which is these crystals here. Um, anyway, but you got like packs, you got tickets, uh, like really good packs. Um, let's see. I'm trying to see if I can show you guys like the starter decks. I don't think I can show you the. Actually, here's the packages. I can show you this. Here are the starter decks. Here are the five starter decks. You really can't see them, but, um,. This is all like real game money. Um, there's a crafting system just like Hearthstone. Um, so yeah, that's really about it as far as this game is. Um, as far as this game is concerned, I guess. I really just wanted to showcase it. Really wanted to see if I could get more people to try this game out and maybe play it because I think this game could really be big. It's just the fact that most people who are playing card games currently are playing Hearthstone, um, so that's taking away from a lot of the people who are playing Spellweaver. Granted, there are, a, the, I mean, the Spellweaver community is growing. There are a lot of people who do not like Hearthstone. There are a lot of people who um, really prefer this game over uh, Hearthstone. So, yeah, that's really all I got to say. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know this is a really, really, really different video for me. Um, I'll try not to make too much of these in the future. Of course, if you did like it, then I'll, I will make more, but, um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, uh, if you could give this video a like, if you can comment, tell me what you thought about the video, also subscribe to the channel if you're new, um, a lot of the things I may have said in this video may not be 100% true, so, if you're someone who is playing Spellweaver, you know, I'm sorry if I did not go over everything correctly, um, this is just what I've taken from the game so far, so yeah. Anyway guys, my name is Pro Bartlett, I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day, peace.